Hi everyone, Josh Goats here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build the NN Chuck Cat. It's a chuck glider that was designed by a guy named Nerd Nick. Um, really, really simple, really easy to build, great for kids, and it flies great. So, with that said, uh, we're going to go ahead and get building. So here on the table in front of me, I've got all the pieces that you're going to have for this aircraft. You've got your main fuselage piece, uh, two fuselage doublers that are going to go on each side of the nose. You've got your horizontal stabilizer and your main wing. So to start out, I'm going to take the fuselage piece, pop out the cavity for the nickels that are going to be the weight. I'm going to pop out the cavity for the main wing and then also for the horizontal stabilizer. Next, I'm going to take one of these doublers and line it up like so, so you can see the slot for the main wing. And then we've got it doubling over on the quarter side there, so make sure that, that lines up nicely. I'm gonna take a hot glue gun and put a bead of hot glue all over this side here and stick it onto my fuselage. One of the things you wanna be real careful about at this point is making sure that you've got everything lined up, especially that main wing slot. Um, if that's not lined up well, then you'll have trouble getting your main wing in later. Got a little bit of hot glue that I put into that cavity on accident, so I just kind of wipe that down and out. So that's good there. I've got two nickels that I'm going to be putting into this nose cavity to properly balance the aircraft. So I'm going to go ahead and put some hot glue in there. Stick a nickel in, squish that down. A little bit more hot glue. And another nickel. So that's good there. Now we're going to be putting this other doubler just on the other side of the nose like so, okay? So we'll have a double R on each side of our fuselage. So again, some hot glue along there, and then set it down onto the fuselage and squish it all together. You wanna be careful not to press on back here because that's not supported, but make sure to give it a good firm press so you get both doublers firmly attached to the fuselage. So that's good to go right there. Next thing is going to be our main wing. You'll notice on the main wing, there's a score cut running right down here in the middle. Um, that's where we're going to be bending the wing up a little bit like so. Uh, this is called dihedral. It's a little bend of the wing that helps the aircraft have roll stability. So I'm going to bend it up a little bit. You can see that that opens up that score cut right there. Then I'm going to take the nozzle of my hot glue gun and kind of squeeze some glue down into that crack that I've just made. I'm going to wipe it in, make sure I don't have any excess there. And then I'm going to lift up one of these wing tips just a couple inches off the table. Again, the purpose here is to give the aircraft some roll stability so that it ever start, if it ever starts to roll, um, it'll level itself out. So I'm going to give that, you know, 10, 20, 30 seconds to dry. And then once that's done and it's cooled off and hardened, then we're going to go ahead and stick it into the fuselage. So... That's probably good right there. You can see that now it's holding that nice bend all by itself. So our next step is going to be to slot that into the fuselage. So I'm just going to take the tip and work it in there. You want to make sure that while you're doing this that you're supporting the fuselage on both the top and bottom. I, I put my fingers here like this. And that'll keep it from creasing. And then just kind of wiggle it in there. You might have some trouble when you get down here near the root, especially if you've got some extra glue. So just take your time um, and then try and center it up nice. Okay, so I've got it centered right now in my aircraft and you'll notice if I look from the front, um, one of the wings is a little bit higher up. So I'm gonna try and actually move that over just a little bit. I want the uh, wings to be as evenly like bent up on each side of the fuselage as possible. That'll give me the best flight characteristics I can get. But ultimately, it doesn't matter a whole lot. Um, it is just a chuck glider. So I've got the wings where I want them to be. Now I'm going to take my hot glue gun and run a bead of glue down each side here on top of the wing. I'm going to take a spare bit of foam that I have here um, just to wipe that glue down in there. This will attach the uh, main wing to the fuselage. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. You don't have to wipe the glue in like I'm doing with the uh, piece of foam. But it just helps take away some of the excess, gives it a cleaner look. Um, you can also use your finger, but if you do use your finger, I would strongly suggest either licking it to help you know, protect it from the heat of the hot glue, or um, wait till the glue is cooled off a little bit, because this hot glue will burn you. I can say that from experience. 
Next, we're going to take the horizontal stabilizer and slide it here in the back. Again, there's no center line on this, so you want to just make sure that you've got an even amount on both sides and that this back edge here is running perpendicular to the fuselage. So I'm pretty happy with where I've got that. Um, additionally, you want it so that when you look at it from the back, um, it's at right angles with the fuselage, so you got a nice T there. Um, if you have it off like at an angle like this, it'll give you some weird flight characteristics. So try and get that as teed up as possible. And we're going to do the exact same thing we did with the wing. Just put a little bit of glue on each side and then wipe it in. Again, I'm going to, I'm just going to lick my finger here and use that to wipe in the glue. Um, this isn't a great idea, frankly. I suggest using a scrap bit of foam if you've got it. But if you're in a pinch, it does work. I'm not burning myself, so that's good. Okay, licking my finger, wiping it in, rolling off the excess here. Okay, and one more piece right there. Okay, now we've got the tail attached. Lord glider, pretty much done. Look at that. Six minutes and 20 seconds total in the build video. I've got a functioning chuck glider. And there you have it, folks. Hope you enjoyed.